Carlisle Willie here with uh, Thin to Win, playing with my buddy Pat McCoy here. Here's a 3 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Uh, played in the bigs for how many years? Uh, for a year. Okay. And then in the minors, you were 13 years. 13 years, baby. <laughs> I play uh, Del Lago, uh, Vail, Arizona today, and uh, you know we'll see how it goes. Who wins the MVP this year? Between Otani and Judge, right? Yeah, I got Otani. There's just no player ever in the history of the game that could ever do what he does or will ever be as good as he is. The guy's, he's a Cy Young arm. He's a Cy Young arm and, and an MVP back. Yeah, and he plays every day. And the days after he gets his play right field. And, or, you know, he's a DH man. The guy's just incredible. He's not going to be able to play that long. I mean, he just because father of him. Yeah, at some point, he's probably going to have to pick one. He's going to pick hitting because he's going to pull on his career. Um, and then he's going to affect the game every day. Yeah. Instead of, you know, he might be a big hit piece or, you know, close every once in a while or, you know, throw a couple of innings. I just don't see any reason to you know, get hurt because he already had Tommy John, you know what I mean? So That's um, true, yeah. And then I think, uh, but the other outlying thing, because I'm a pitcher and I'm kind of biased to that, but... Um, why isn't Verlander in the running for anything? Dude, I had an unreal year, and he's 40-some years old. My wife keeps saying, why doesn't he retire? I'm like, babe, he's a Cy Young pitcher. He's, he's about better. to win a World Series. Why would you retire? <laughs> he's really That's going to come around, too. You're going to be all right over there. Oh, that'll work perfect. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Oh, or into the... Kick out. Kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> I got called up. I was actually meeting with uh, Trevor Crow and... Uh, U of A. Yeah, Shout U of A out. guy. And uh, we were at a sushi place. So Ben Gez, you have um, I was with Mike Hessman and uh, Trevor Crow, and it was just the four of us, and I got a phone call, and uh, they're like, hey, you need to come to the clubhouse, and all these guys have been in the big leagues already, and they're like, oh, you're going to the show, and I was like, no, I'm not, probably getting traded, like, their <laughs> lefties were doing fine, yeah. um, find out that one of the, the younger lefties, it was like 23 through like 97, Ian Kroll, um, he got in trouble because he went out. Didn't show up to the bus and showed up to the park at that's game a, time. That's a quick way to get <laughs> And then uh, he got sent down to AAA, and then I got called up. So um, I was just in the right spot at the right. Yeah. Hit. But, yeah, they paid for my tab. And uh, 2014, I was lucky to, to get called up when I got called up. Right now, I don't know if I would ever have a chance because you have to be a funky lefty or you have to do something crazy or you have to throw 100. Good shot. Give me a good shot. Oh, beautiful. A little, little short and left, you're all right. It's awesome when 
Tucson's weather is the same as San Diego. Absolutely. Only for like a month. And we still get more rain than them. Mm -hmm. So I signed to go to ASU. Oh, it was ASU? Okay. And then um, I got what I wanted in the draft. And, and I wasn't ready to go sit in the classroom. So I was like, <laughs> you know, I just... I went in and it was like a couple weeks after I graduated actually. I was on a flight to go pitch, to be a starting pitcher in, um, in the GCL and I had no idea what I was getting myself into and you know I just played all these tournaments and everything else but now you're actually playing for an organization and then, and then it's like the expectations of actually turning it into a job which takes years of actually like working in it and then being like okay well i'm a professional baseball player i gotta treat this as a job and train and whatever instead of like treating it like a showcase and yeah. i think a lot of the the very talented high round picks you know it's very hard to get away from that instead of you know okay well every single outing you're trying to prove yourself to get more money but now it's like you got the money now you just got to get to the big leagues and yeah. i think that the mindset that i had and i think uh the reason why I made it was because I was like, I had nothing else to go for, you know yeah, what I mean? Like nothing I, to lose kind I of was, mentality. I was all in when I signed because I had nothing else. And I was yeah. like, okay, well, I'm going to make my life out of this. And yeah. I just didn't look back and I didn't even like think about, you know, getting released or like not performing or anything. I just, I just went out there and pitched and yeah. it just, you know, <clears throat> luckily enough, I partied and did stupid shit the whole time <laughs> I was coming up. But you know, luckily enough, somebody was watching over me. Yeah. You know, so I didn't do something so stupid to ruin my career. Yeah. I signed. Um, I met Mitch Sokol at halfway between Tucson and Phoenix, and we signed at a Cracker Barrel. <laughs> oh, really? With my dad, yeah. So, you have a nice little breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I signed for like, I signed for one hundred seventy-five thousand dollars at a Cracker Barrel, <laughs> and uh, it was it was cool, man. I had my. You know, we took pictures and stuff, but it was it was weird because my dad, the guy wanted to come down and sign me at my high school and take pictures and stuff. And my dad was like, no, man, we'll meet you halfway. He was like, let's get going. Like, let's get Pat out of the house, you know? So, yeah, three weeks later, I was playing. I followed Chad Smith. Verlander, no, it was Scherzer pitched that day. And so Scherzer pitched that day. We won like 14-0 against the Indians, and I pitched the eighth. So I faced Brantley, the first hitter. Michael Brantley? And I punched him. Punched him out. First guy. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Here is McCoy's 1-2. Swing and a miss. His first big league hitter is Michael Brantley. He strikes him out. Good looking shot. Gotta go. Oh, that's gotta go. That's wet. Oh, no. That's wet. You're okay? That's wet. Oh, jeez. Sit right there. Get it fat. I went to Puerto Rico twice, Venezuela once, and uh, VR three times. Is it, is it different baseball out there? Just go twice. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Um, it's like a World Baseball Classic like every day. Really? So, like, fans are nuts. That, that, like, it's so, a fun atmosphere though. Right? Yeah, so like when I when I was about ready to like hang it up, I went to Puerto Rico after a while I was with the Nationals and I, I just fell in love with baseball all over again. That's Puerto Rican sick. fans are awesome. So that's the, that's the off season I got signed by Detroit. Oh, sick. And uh, Puerto Rico is a lot to, you know, Carlos Baerga was my manager and he called the Tigers and got me a job. So. That's, awesome. that's yeah. awesome. Set. Hit the right line, but then hit it. All right, that's it for us. Then the win. We had a good day today. I mean, we oh, played yeah. like shit, but yeah, I mean, we, it's freaking beautiful out here. Beautiful. Good company, good times. Good course. Yeah, thanks for uh, following.